Holy crap, I can't believe I missed the video game awards. Oh, God. The best part had to have been when they released new footage of Zelda for the Wii U. Oh, man. That just looks amazing. Okay, so this is going to be a little breakdown of the trailer uh, or the, the, the file footage. So what we see here is we see a screen with very little information on it. We got health and we got uh, our power, our magic. Uh, when we get on the horse, it has a small what to do. And when we jump off, we see a little arrow icon. Or when we have the bow and arrow, we, we, we see a little icon. Besides that, it's very limited. There's no mini map. There's no nothing. All that information is going to be on the controller. And the map is great because we can finally set beacons. Now, what that means is we're going to be able to hopefully uh, be able to create slash uh, list important spots, uh, places that we need to remember, places that we like see a chest and we can't get yet because we don't have the right item. That is something I always liked in, I believe it was Phantom Hourglass. You were able to write on the maps. Uh, that's something definitely needed in a open world game. And this one does look way more open world. The map they show on the controller is huge, and they said that's not even the whole world. That's just one area. So that, then we're going to have the dungeons. Then we're going to have, uh, who knows what else we're going to have. Are we going to have a boat feature? Because there is ocean, there is water. It just looks amazing. Second thing you first you notice is you can ride horses. They're wild. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if you have to tame them, but we see wild ones, and we see the one you actually get on. It already has the saddle on it. It is called Impona, but it doesn't look like Impona at all. Uh, I'm not 100% sure how you get that or um, at what point in the story. Uh, as far as I know, it looks like we have uh, some hearts already and some, uh, some mana, magic, whatever it's called. We already have that, so we're we're somewhat into the story. So hopefully we get it first off, so we can don't have to travel these long distances just by foot. I know that makes uh, RPGs feel longer, but it's also f way more boring. Uh, second thing we notice is, or the third thing we notice, is that we have on horse combat. That is shield to block, sword to swing, and uh, some aerial combat with uh, the bow and arrow. Uh, towards the end, we see him jump off, and it goes into sort of a slow-mo, slowed-down type of firing mechanism, uh, uh, reminiscent of, like, Max Payne. That is going to be unique. I'm not 100% sure if there's going to be any bosses that require horse battles or anything like that. Like, I know the Gerudo Valley, you had that little trial they had to get past to get... Uh, I forget what it was. It was an upgraded something, and... Uh, I think it was a quiver, maybe upgraded quiver. Yeah, but uh, I'm not. It wasn't really uh, necessary for any boss battles. I know Wind Waker, uh, not Wind Waker. Uh, Majora's Mask had more unique battles. Uh, I'm really looking forward to this game. Really looking forward to it. It looks gorgeous. It looks huge. He set the beacon and he uh, glided down. I mean that that he still wasn't there. I mean he had to ride a horse and he, that shows you how big this game is going to be. And that's just. What I believe is the open world part, the the, the main area. That's going to be awesome. It just looks awesome. Everything about it looks great. They also announced uh, Star Fox is going to be out before it. And before Star Fox is going to be the port of Majora's Mask to the, the 3DS. Everything's uh, turning up Nintendo and everything looks great. All right, guys, I want to thank you for watching my breakdown of the new footage for Zelda Wii U. If you guys uh, are interested, I'll leave a link in the description to the uh, Game Wards uh, video. Uh, thanks for uh, listening.